Show me the ring and I'll jump right through. I used to. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We made it. It's 2017. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that y'all made it because y'all watching this video right now. 2016 is now gone. Bye bye. We're so happy to see it go. We need t-shirts to say that's a bye. Happy New Year's. Happy 2017. Here's to prosperity and happiness and health and wonderful blessings to come all your way, to make up for any bad stuff that happened last year. How with the old, in with the new. Speaking of new, check out my background. I figured I'd switch it up a bit. I don't know what this year is gonna hold, but I'm a little nervous about it, to be honest with you. We got the inauguration coming up. There's so much uncertainty in the world going on today with so many different things and countries and stuff, so I wouldn't say I'm excited about what's going on. I mean, I'm, I'm always thankful, thank you, Jesus. I'm always thankful because I know I'm blessed, so I, I got that, but I'm just a little nervous about what's gonna happen. Does anybody else feel that way? So what we're gonna do is we just gonna pray about it. Let's get into what this video is really about, which is what Jawakatima is rocking on her head. For those who don't know, like so many good things we've lost in 2016, Shaquafala was one of them. So Jawakatima will be helping me with these wigs for the year 2017 and beyond. Moment of silence. So when you go to the African website, which I have the link below in the description box, the first thing you're gonna see are these 360 units. So basically what that is, is just a 360 frontal that has been made into a wig and you can actually see the stretchy wig cap that's inside. And the lace goes all the way around the perimeter. And that is for ease of different types of styles. It gives you more versatility. You can do updos. So it's freestyle parting all over. And if you ain't got no edges like me, it's the edges you've always dreamed of. <laughs> Let me stop. Get you some castable. So for those who are wondering, there is actually four inches of partable free space lace in the front and then there's two inches worth of lace in the back. This particular unit is 180% density, so you are not lacking when it comes to thickness, okay? Especially if you have yakky texture like I have with me right now. You can already see I have bleached the knots. Full disclosure, I'm not a stylist. Shocker, I know. Uh, so basically what that means is I am terrible at bleaching my knots. But, of course, in the last video that I did, there is the tea trick, and what the tea trick is, is basically dyeing your lace with tea when you mess up with your bleaching and it, you tint it to your skin tone so the bleach, over bleach knots are not as noticeable. You can kinda see them on this unit because the hair is a little bit more brown at the root than it should be. But that's okay, because it's gonna look wonderful anyway. One thing I am loving about these 360 units is that they come pre-plucked. Customizing your hairline and your unit is a very tedious job, and it is one that can easily be ruined, especially if you're overzealous and you keep plucking when you should not be plucking anymore, and you give yourself a bald spot. And that's very natural looking, but nobody wants a bald spot and they're like $200 wig, okay? So these wigs come pre-plucked. The hairline is to die. Do you see this? Out of all the wigs that I've reviewed on my channel, and Lord knows I've done a lot, these are probably the most realistic hairlines I have ever seen, okay? No more Eddie Monster hairline, no more trying to get it together, okay? They come already snatched, pre-plucked, you plop this on your head and you are ready to go. So that is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off, and then we're going to see where we go from here. Dom. Ow! Cut myself. So when you're cutting the lace on your wig, you wanna be very careful that you are not cutting your hairline off, child, because I have done that. Right. So I always like to make sure that it's secure in the back first, and I bring it to the front. And it's nice and secure on my head, because I already have the straps in the back adjusted. And it already looks like I'm done. I don't even have to do much, and I haven't even put the combs in, but let me go ahead and attach the combs so it's more secure. 
without popping one of these fake nails off. Is that something? This is how the wig came with this part already here. My suggestion would be if you wanted to change your part, that you would, of course, wet your hair and then, you know, part it wherever you'd like, brush it down, and then put on a, um, what's the thing? Do-rag. Put a do-rag on and tie it and then lay it flat, and that way when it dries, it'll dry flat. Otherwise, you're going to have some problems. So there you go, this is it. This is the 360 wig, just plopped on. I haven't even secured my hairline and did all the stuff. I'm like, I need, I need to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on my um, got to be glued around my perimeter and lay it down so you guys can see how natural my hairline is. I'll be right back. The easiest way for me to show you guys how I do this is I got my got to be glued and I went ahead and I put these clips up to get the hair out of the way because the last thing you want Lord how many times the last thing you want is to put this on your hairline and then the wind blows a certain way and half your wig is stuck to your hairline like this it does not look good I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this got to be glued on the back of my hand it is so nasty and watery does anybody else's got to be glued get like this I don't know if I just got a defective bottle or something I don't know what this stuff is, some kind of polymer. I don't know, but this stuff is the bomb when it comes to putting on a lace front. Because this is hair gel and not a glue, I don't care if I get it in my hairline. So before y'all start yelling at me, this is the way I'm, I've been doing it and it's been working. I'm gonna go ahead and put it all around my perimeter. And it's gonna get tacky. Kinda of like um, how you let your Eyelash glue get tacky before you attach it. Look, I already got glue in my hair. <sighs> when will she ever learn? I'm gonna go ahead and pull the lace down. Here we go, kids. So it's secure on my head. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a do-rag and I'm gonna tie it so my hairline is dried and flush and doesn't like lift up because you don't want it to lift up. I'm flying high, but I got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else but you. So now my hair has been styled. I love the big romantic voluminous old style curls so I like to use these little clips and you really just have to leave them in for a couple of minutes until your hair cools down and then you have these curls that are going to last all day. So you can see what the curls look like on the hair. The hair is 18 inches long and it's so thick and it's so natural looking. So that's it. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and add the adhesive of your choice, whether it's tape or glue or styling gel, and um, hook up your back so you can have a nice cute little updo. For the sake of the video, I didn't do that just because I know myself and I would jack it up. I would need three, four, five mirrors to see my kitchen and y'all don't want that. If I were to wear an updo with one of these wigs, I would make sure that I would have it installed by a professional so they would know what to do when it comes to the back area of my head. This look was super easy to do. Trust me, if I could do it, anybody could do it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. All the information will be in the description box below.